Welcome back to the Loganites. I am the writer, Carl. Writer, <laughs> Carl. Are you going for like Lord of the Rings there, Strider? Oh yeah, that was one of my other talking points. Thank you for bringing oh, that up. Okay, well first, let me let me yeah uh, introduce yourself, Stranger. I'm Malarkey Malcolm. Mal <sighs> I wonder how many times you've used that one. Probably a bunch. I think it's at least three. Mm -hmm. Malarkey Malcolm. It's a fun one, though. It is a fun one. <laughs> All right, what's your other talking So, Lord point? of the we'll Rings. About Aragorn. <laughs> or, no, wait, Aragorn. I uh, said Aragorn. Aragorn. That's a different That's a book. Yeah. Different fantasy thing. He's one of them. He's one, he's one of them rangers. We'll call him Strider. <laughs> oh, Epona, really? All right, so Lord of the Rings, you had a question about that? No, I have a discussion point on that. Ooh, that okay. kind of piggybacks off of uh, storytelling through abilities. From two episodes ago? Well, it was kind of in the last episode, too. It was a two-parter. A little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so, particularly the movie The Lord of the Rings. Okay. Is what I want Not to talk about. No. Um... Although that is wonderful and uh, worthy of praise, okay. But I'm I just want to talk about how unique it is that that movie happened or that series of movies happened, okay. Um, and the what they did to make it work because so yeah. So here's the thing, okay. <laughs> I have to play the game, Malcolm. <laughs> I am two dollars short. Can you even hold two more dollars? I can hold two more dollars. Oh, I need two more dollars. Can you? Uh... Lord of the Rings should never have happened because uh, fantasy was seen as like a lesser genre. It was just for kids and nerds. Uh -huh. Before that movie. Um, you would never get a, a multi-million dollar franchise with like elves and yeah, absolutely trees. not. It was kind of it was kind of treated as uh, schlocky. Okay, <laughs> if that's a good word for it. I can't buy the Zora tunic though because I need nah, three hundred. Yeah, what can I afford the heart container? Ooh, nope. Nope. 215. Man. It's like they meant to do that. Alright, but we can be red now. Yes, and you can take your time in Death Mountain Crater. Uh huh. Yes. Very good. I already have Nairu's love. And there's nothing to do in that room until I have the boo. The boo. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Do you know anything about the bow? I don't know. I have no hints on the bow. Yeah. Uh, I can't cross the desert and get Saria's song without the long shot or the hover boots. Right. Oh, I am I am going hither and yon with my my thoughts are all <laughs> scattered. That makes sense. This whole game is all scattered. Yeah. That that's a valid point, thank you. <laughs> what the Yeah, well, I got the, the fence. fence. <laughs> That's cool. What a tactic. Oh, fun. All right. Um, because <laughs> the, the movie shouldn't have been made because fantasy was seen as this lesser genre. And I think that's because people didn't realize um, or didn't appreciate uh, storytelling through abilities like we were talking about. Oh, okay. Can you just let me pass, please? I'm begging you, Mido. Because <laughs> uh, if you really dissect the Lord of the Rings the movie, it was like a labor of love. People, there was like five years of pre-production. I believe it. Was... There's, pe there's people that just whittled their fingers down to the bone making actual chain mail. And they're, I um... and they and they like have it in the bonus commentary. Not only that, but getting the approval, you don't have anything useful. I was checking shops with my grown-up wallet. 
But oh, I think the Zora tunic is the only thing that's really worth it. Hmm. Um, so, because nowadays we're spoiled with like the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Harry Potter and everything's yeah. a trilogy. Hunger Games, um, Twilight. All because of the Lord of the Rings, I feel. That does feel true because it was uh, was one of the first like trilogies. Mm-hmm. On fantasy. Yeah. And uh, I'm I'm having trouble tying that into my previous point, but I'm 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 just you know watching my video essays. I'm just aghast, at, like thinking down and like how this movie happened because Peter Jackson is not like Hollywood gold like he like he was when he was making it. Uh -huh. He was a schlock horror movie. Like horror comedy. Huh. Have you seen his previous stuff? No, you haven't. Nobody no. has. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Uh, you might sell me something good if I have 200 rubies. Okay, cool. Because it won't be the bad sort. Bolero Fire so it can be found in Goron City. What? Bolero Fire at Goron City? You don't learn a song at Goron City. Give me five dollars. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't know if the slingshot hint is true either, because I don't know where to find it. <laughs> we tried everything. I I did go through the the bombachu on my own time. Oh we, yeah. There's there's nothing there for us. Um. We haven't done the treasure. Game, oh, the treasure yeah, mini game. You're right. Okay, well, there's there's that to try. I uh, can't do that. Long shot. Need a long shot. So, so uh, yeah. So and Peter Jackson. It was stuff yeah, was and not... the cast, aside from like Sari McKellen and yeah. Cl and Kate Blanchett, was not like. An all-star cast. It was all new people. That's true. I mean, and wait, wasn't Elijah Wood in something when he was younger, though? He was. He was in Back to the Future. He was a child actor. That's right. I know. I'm crazy, right? It's uh, like anyway. Christian Bale in Newsies. <laughs> yeah. Crazy <laughs> to think about. But that movie happened still. And it is now, like, the it's gold like standard. Classic. Yeah is instant classic i mean even people who don't know like fantasy lord of the rings this is the spirit temple i don't know why i'm here i can't do anything as an adult without the silver gauntlets uh i'm just trying to go through <laughs> my thoughts and try to think of what to do um because we need a hammer we need the song and i'm trying to be entertaining and talk about this thing and i'm just failing at both things really <laughs> So let me just finish my thoughts on the Lord of the Rings and then you talk. Okay. Okay. <sighs> and and it, it was like the new Star Wars, not only because it you know broke ground and brought a whole new genre to the masses, but also because it was grounded in like people, in yeah. in labors of love like the chainmail. It was like so much practical effects. Yeah, like it, it yeah. ballooned in CGI as it went, you know, with more and more cave trolls. Right. But it was like that lightning in a bottle. I don't think there will ever be another franchise quite like Lord of the Rings. No. I agree. All right. Now you talk. All right. <laughs> Let me I'll think. tell you. So uh, I went on a trip with my family to New Zealand, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, a couple of years ago. Uh huh. And that we was went... when we were playing Majora's Mask. It's documented when you came back. Oh, yeah. I like that episode. Um, <sighs> well, then maybe I told the story already, but we went to the, the place where they filmed The Hobbit. Uh huh. Or, well, just The Shire. Yeah, the Shire, yeah. Uh -huh. um, and uh, our tour guide told us a number of stories, obviously, but he. He mentioned there's one tree that is mentioned in, I think, the books. The party tree? 
Uh, no, not that one. Old Man Willow. There's the one on top of the hill. Bag End, Bag Shot Row. I don't remember. Anyway, that tree. Yeah, there's a tree up at the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, um, there's something, I can't remember specifically the story, but, uh, oh, maybe, no. Okay, I think it's a real tree. And now I may be completely wrong. Mm -hmm. In any case, what happened was Peter Jackson felt like... Uh, oh, no, I think I think what it was... Uh, and now I'm super fumbling. Uh -huh. this could it's be, fun, isn't it? This could be completely <laughs> inaccurate because I don't remember for sure. Mm -hmm. But I think um, that... The, there weren't leaves on it or the leaves weren't the right color or something so he had employees go and put fake leaves on the entire tree like every branch they had to manually put on every leaf Wow! and that was like two days before they filmed so they stayed and put every single leaf on that tree wow. within like 48 hours that's nuts <laughs> yeah <laughs> And like, yeah. I know they did that in Rivendell too with the Council of Elrond. Oh yeah. Like they wanted leaves to be falling, and so and they were painted too because they needed to be fall leaves. Uh huh. And they they just would just drop them as they were filming. That's crazy. All right, I need it to be night. I want that gold sculpture because that's literally the only thing I can think of <laughs> to do right now. So they put a lot of effort into it, like you were saying the practical effects. Because mm -hmm. um, they could have easily said, eh, just chop the tree down and then we'll add one in post, right? Oh, yeah, but, you know, that's CGI. Yeah. And, you know, it just goes into that uncanny valley. <laughs> yeah. 15. All right, cool. I'm glad that was <sighs> worth it. <sighs> Man. I guess I could do... Rudo Fortress, it's just I know I'm gonna get to that dead end where I can't cross the haunted wasteland. Mm. But it's something to do. And there might be chests in there. Are there chests in there? There is one. I don't know if I can reach it with the regular hook shot. Mm. Can you get out of the jail with the regular hook shot? You can. Okay. Well, you know what? We'll try it. It'll be fun. Okay. If we get a dead end, we get a dead end. Great. I don't know if I started a timer for this episode. But... No, darn it. No, I did. Oh, you did. Okay, good. So, yeah, Lord of the Rings is crazy, dude. And when I was younger, when it came out um, on DVD, we got the extended edition with, like, the four DVDs in the box. Or, no. Of course. I think it had, like, six. Uh-huh. Um, and me and my sister loved Lord of the Rings, so we we watched, like, everything that they had in those boxes. Mm -hmm. There was a lot about the filming and stuff, and it was crazy. Yeah, I recommend that too. The the it's... one thing that always sticks out in my mind is that... Um, oh, shoot. What's what's Eric Horn's... Viggo Mortensen. Viggo Mortensen, that's his name. Viggo Mortensen broke his toe on set. Yep, in, kicking... In the film, yeah. Kicking the helmet. Yeah, and his, and his little scream after that was... Little... But yeah, his his shout after that was. Okay, I need a hammer for that one. Uh, partially because he broke his toe. Yeah, and it is a, he wanted to get into the role, mm -hmm. so he would actually like camp and fish, and muck stalls and hang out with horses and take care of them. Yeah. S nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Just feels like we don't put that much effort into things these days. No, we don't. And it shows. <laughs> okay, I, I don't remember my original point for bringing up the Lord of the Rings, but I like what we're talking about now. <laughs> you were talking the, about... So... Go ahead, go ahead, never mind. Production. Yeah. And people... I can't... I need the hammer. Gosh dang it. <laughs> um, and I already got these sculptulas. All right. Root of Fortress. Yeah, Deku Tree. I know. <laughs> um, so funny. So much of what we enjoy now is just done 100%. Like, it is completed. Mm -hmm. 
And what is lost in that is polish. Like the real labor of love stuff. Like you tell somebody really cared about what they did. Yeah. A lot of the stuff you see on Netflix or um, indie games. Is, well, not indie games, but like AAA title games. Uh, yeah, we're doing this. Is just done, but you don't see the polish. And when you don't see the polish, you... <sighs> Why must I play a game? <laughs> it loses the salt. Yes. Now you talk. Yeah. yeah, it's just like a. It's. I mean, it's the. I'd say it's like plastic movies, right? Mm-hmm. Just manufactured, quick and easy, using a bunch of effects and stuff. I don't know, and I and I don't see. Oh shoot. Do you have to not get hit? Yeah, well, the spin attack it has a little knockout in it. Oh, okay. All right, we're bringing out the big guns now. Playing with the big guns now. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't, I don't see where we would have gone otherwise, because you know you go with the easiest. Well, I mean, you don't always go with the easiest solution. But, but that's what people most, most people the take the prefer. path of least resistance and yeah. it shows. Yes. You can absolutely tell when it's when that happens. Oh flip. <laughs> hey look oh no. I about stood up. <laughs> Alright. I think it's almost time to cheat. <laughs> no, not don't almost look time to don't cheat. look yeah. Oh oh right. Oh. Oh come <laughs> You'd think they'd close that window after they nope. threw me in there that many times. No, they like this game of catch and mouse <laughs> that we play. No, dang it, she's looking. Gosh, dang it. Such a good song, by the way. Oh, yeah, this slaps. Have you seen the um, Super Guitar Bros? Uh-huh. They have a whole... Uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really good. I don't know if it's medley. They have it's just a whole bunch of those. Almost all of the songs, actually, I would say. I will be upset if she still knocks me out without doing any damage. <laughs> but anyway, that's a. I, if any of you haven't seen that, I would recommend highly recommend looking up Super Guitar Guitar Bros. Uh, Ocarina of Time. Cheese. She's the fight. She's it all. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Nice cheese. Thank you. Get out of here. Be gone. Uh, I I got distracted by the music. What was I talking about? <laughs> it's hard to concentrate. How do you do a let's production? play him? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it just people go for the easiest solution uh, most of the time, and when people put in a lot of love, that's when things stand out. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> I can't knock people out. I don't have the boo. Oh uh, yeah, you just have to fight them. Oh wait, you can't. You can't. You have to stun them, otherwise they lock you in jail. I know you're here. Where you're gonna come around the corner? Right as I get impatient and take a look. <laughs> I know it. Oh, there you are. Like, I would actually argue that Undertale is one of those. Oh, yeah. You can tell Toby Fox really did care about the writing and the music. Mm hmm He didn't care so much about the art. Nope. I mean, it's in there. Yeah. But it's like, nah, we're going to do pixel art because, you know, who cares? Mm-hmm. We're, we're conveying what the character is doing, and it's going to be just like so well written, and it's going to sound amazing. Yes, and that and what? <laughs> I wait until you turned around. This is bull crap. And we see where Undertale got. Oh yeah, everybody loves Undertale. Yeah. Everybody hates the Undertale fan base, but everybody loves <laughs> Undertale. <laughs> All right, what about up here? 
Uh, we haven't played Undertale in, on our series, have we? No, we, we've talked about it many times. And we've said we weren't going to because it's been done a million times? Uh, Probably. I, I wouldn't often. mind playing that. Really? Yeah. Even after all this time? Always. We played Deltarune. Yeah, we did the play first Deltarune, chapter. the first one. The second one's out. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Deltarune was all right. It, it's just sometimes... <laughs> often when people try to make a sequel to something that made it big it's just it just comes back more processed yeah i i feel yeah well and they try to do the same thing almost but yeah which you is need really progression hard to do. and change well you want a sequel to be the same yet different yes mm -hmm. and that's hard like most people critically acclaim shrek 2 because it was like the original but it went to new places did new things and is widely considered a good sequel. I don't know if I've seen that. Shrek 2? Mm -hmm. It's good. I'm not a huge fan of Shrek, though, so... But, still, my my point stands. <laughs> yes, I do. Because you haven't seen a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it. I just didn't love it. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> I thought you said you hadn't seen the sequel. The sequel. Yeah. I, I've seen the, the yeah, first one. Yeah, yeah. Sequel's better. Sequel's better? Yeah. Oh, oh good money. It's a good oh, there's no chest up here? There's no chest up here. There's a chest over there, though. Ooh, can you hit it? Not from here. Dang. Not with the quick shot. I need the long shot. Or I need to go over there to where the scarecrow is. So... Is this uh, where you just yeah, were? Yeah, it is where I just were. Dang. Uh, look. Sneaky, sneaky. This is hard without the bow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't need to tell me. <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, sequels to... Especially, like, viral stuff is just really hard. Mm -hmm. It's you, idiot. You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. Okay, sure. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Anyway, <laughs> we should uh, go to the next episode. Sure thing. And we'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching. And remember, you should subscribe. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.